Uh, my name's Jason Brooks, and I've been tattooing uh, since early 1993. <laughs> Uh, tattooing, you know, it's changed a lot even since I started tattooing. You know, you may get somebody coming in one day that wants uh, a big, full Japanese bodysuit or back piece or Japanese sleeve, and then the next day somebody comes in and wants, um, you know, something on the other spectrum, which is like just straight up American traditional tattoos, um, which I think it's really cool. I mean, the dragon starts here and it wraps around. There's a claw right there, all the clouds and stuff. It wraps around, goes down into here, where it disappears. And the skull, it's a traditional Tibetan skull that hangs down right here. Well, what do you do for a living? Uh, I work for the fire department. And the uh, uh, reason behind it is uh, the Tibetan culture and stuff I just have a lot of respect for. So Jason came up with, a, the back piece was first. It took months to finish. This was something that we've done recently, the last year or so. Uh, and it's a traditional Tibetan dragon and a skull right here. It's a little deceiving on your arm because it wraps around, so if you lay it out flat, you know, it's a lot bigger than it looks. The body's not a flat surface, so, uh, you know, you're working with a, a round surface or a curved surface, so, you know, you need things to look a certain way. Um, they're going to be out of proportion if you're drawing like it's a flat surface. Sometimes, um, you know, I'll draw it right on skin, um, but lately I've been drawing more on paper. That way I can actually refine my designs more before I actually apply it to the skin. Nothing's permanent until you're tattooing it on. So, you know, you can, you know, even if you do a whole draw, if you do a drawing on the skin and get it, you know, lined in, you know, with your pen to do the design, like it's not permanent until you tattoo it. The needle just pierces the skin and stains the under layers of the of the uh, skin. You know, it just leaves the mark. I came in for a quarter sleeve, and by the time it was time to sit down and ha like tell him exactly what I wanted, I decided I wanted a half sleeve because I'd seen more of his work. After, I mean, after the first session, which was the outline of, of just uh, the Sacred Heart, 
I liked it so much I decided I wanted a full sleeve. So when I came back, um, I knew I wanted a big skull with some, some more roses down here and then a uh, sugar skull here. And Jason kind of picked up on the whole life and death you know, theme, which I hadn't even really thought about. They were just elements that I liked, and he did um, the, like a life side, a death side. And then uh, this was part of the original design, and it all kind of works really well together. I'm super happy with it. I've been tattooing almost 20 years, and just when I started tattooing, uh, you know, if if you had tattoos on your forearms, it was still people would like look at you, you know, and um, it's not like that now. Um, and that was like a thing that actually was kind of cool, you know. Not that you want everybody just to like look at you like you're a weirdo, but you felt you felt different, you know. Now now it's not. You don't quite have that feeling anymore. Um, but the, be the beautiful thing about it is that people are getting more elaborate tattoos and it is, it is accepted. And, you know, as me for an artist, like I can do the work that I've always wanted to do and not have to, you know, sometimes like seek out customers to get this crazy stuff that you want to do. And there's willing customers walking in the door to get it now. So that's, that's a good thing about it. Well, I really, really love this one because I think the way I incorporated the neoclassical upholstery flower design into, but made it into a tattoo and really made it something different. And then I love on this one how intricate and detailed it is and how the colors really play off each other. I just think everything about it's beautiful. You know, art is not perfect. Nothing in the world is perfect, you know. I mean, a tattoo is a handcrafted piece of work, so there's gonna be flaws. You're working on skin, you're not working on canvas or paper. I think the best thing about tattoos are something that you have that can't be taken away from you, you know, because it is a permanent thing. So um, it involves you having to make a permanent decision about yourself and I think that can be a healthy thing sometimes. For me it's almost like a protective armor sometimes you know like if if I didn't have my tattoos like I don't think I'd be who I am you know they kind of uh, um, yeah they they concrete a lot of things in your life so um, I don't know if I can really explain it. <laughs> so, but uh, anybody who has tattoos, they, they know what I'm talking about.